Hello friends. Today let's study the Slav defense in the Queen's Gambit declined opening. It is the one of the most popular chess opening for black in response to uh, d4 opening and enjoys a reputation of being one of the safest replies against the Queen's Gambit. It is one of the most trusted opening in chess. Uh, it, and it is also very popular at all levels from beginner to strong grandmasters. Uh, so let's let me flip the board as uh, the slow defense is primarily a uh, an opening from for the black. So let's start in say where uh, white starts with d4 and black replies d5 and c4 from the black. Uh, from the white um, so that's the queen's gambit but here black replies with c6 and that's the, that that is slav defense so friends from this position black white has basically three main options available where c takes d5 this leads to the exchange variation uh, um, there another option which is available here for uh, white is uh, knight to c3 uh, and what other option white can play is knight to f3 so we will look at all of those options one by one so let's start with c takes d5 so basically this is a slav defense exchange variation where uh, c takes uh, d5 is the reply from the black so the other option black can play, sorry, black can play from this position as uh, queen to um, d5, uh, but that violates the opening principle as to that as you should not move your queen at the very start of the game unless you have a very solid idea. Uh, the other option is knight to f6, which will be attacking onto this pawn, but white will not have any uh, problems here as it will capture the pawn at c6 so uh, knight to uh, let's go back here um, so c takes d5 and blacks uh, white's main main line is knight to c3 it should be noted that there are some move order tricks here and it might actually be most precise to start with bishop f4 uh, in order to prevent any aggression lines uh, like e5 yet knight to c3 is the main move knight to f6 um, here from the from the black and bishop f4 white brings his dark squared bishop outside the uh, pawn chain and then knight to c6 e3 and bishop to f5 so black does not want to play e6 before uh, bringing his light square bishop outside the pawn chain the only downside of this move is that uh, b7 pawn becomes a target with queen to b3 this is the white's latest idea in the exchange variation he immediately targets the b7 pawn so knight to a5 this is black's best move here the knights attack on the onto the queen and simultaneously uh, sorry and simultaneously uh, protects the pawn on b7 here usually white plays queen to a4 check and then bishop to d7 uh, is the most common replies from the from the black let's go back a little bit and i show you an, an op another option so from this position instead of playing queen to b3 the other option white can have is queen knight to f3 this move has been analyzed in uh, a lot of places here e6 is the main move put by now uh, queen to b3 and again the same ideas are there now um, so okay let me show you here a knight to a5 is a mistake as now as now the light square bishop cannot return onto the onto its position uh, onto the d7 square to protect the check from the queen right so let's go back here yeah so on this position bishop to b4 is the main move 
uh, so basically it pins the knight here and be, usually white replies here with bishop to b5 it it counter pins the black's knight here so here usually black can castle and white uh, white captures the knight with his bishop but before capturing the knight, uh, the bishop first uh, you uh, capture the knight first with bishop to c3 check and when and then queen takes c3 and then b takes c6 and uh, queen takes c6 and then and the, and now the uh, the variation continues so friends now let's go back and have a and let's analyze knight to c3 variation this move looks like a very logical developing move for the white where uh, knight to f6 uh, replies from the black black goes for a flexible knight f6 and then um, e3 from the black sorry, from the white but here white can also go for knight to f3 so basically white, white transposes to one of the main lines here where, where d takes c4 is another option for the black we might see this later in this video but here after e3 bishop to f5 is the main line this is our recommendation for black the move was considered to be bad for a long time but in recent years however i would got some more attention again as new lines are discovered but here you can alternatively play say a6 or uh, if not a6 then e6 or probably if not e6 g6 is also an option so those three are options available for the black here on this position but let's go back to uh, bishop to f5 where c takes d5 and c takes d5 again and then bishop to b3 again uh, attacking onto the weak uh, b7 pawn but here white black can surprise the white by knight to c6 it was found in recent years that black can just pitch the pawn and go for the rapid development white has to capture the b7 pawn now otherwise his setup would make little sense and then bishop to d7 black needs to spend a tempo to defend the knight um, now however white needs to spend some time quickly to retreat his queen so uh, knight to b3 queen to b3 again alternatively uh, bishop to b5 is an uh, is an option where knight uh, where rook to b8 and white goes queen goes to a6 uh, but here um, knight to b4 would be very very killing as it will be attacking onto the queen as well as uh, there's an atta uh, attacking onto the onto the fork so uh, forking uh, sorry forking the king and to the rook it's this position basically you can white can continue with uh, uh, bishop takes d7 check uh, where queen takes d7 and now queen goes back to e2 basically to defend uh, defending this uh, uh, c7 c2 square but queen to f5 is now uh, the threat is again onto onto the c2 square now on this position white has no not white, white does not have much ideas then to move the queen king to f1 uh, lose his right to castle but again and, and uh, then knight to c2 attacking onto this rook is an option for the uh, is the basically white's prime idea where uh, rook to b1 uh, is the only choice and friends at the end let's analyze knight to f3 variation here knight f6 is the main move for the uh, for uh, and then knight to uh, knight to b2 this is very solid move for the white the knight on d2 protects the pawn on c4 and then bishop to f5 black brings his bishop outside the pawn chain white has to has two main moves here 
uh, either black can white can play uh, g3 or knight to g4 so in knight to g4 h if bishop e4 black has other moves here too uh, yet the text moves has been successfully used by fabiano caruana in the round five at the cinque field cup uh, in 2014 where he started out with a legendary 7-7 seven, seven. Um, so in round 5 he crushed Hikaru Nakurama uh, Nakamura with this line so f3 and then bishop to um, g6 where e3 and e6 are the main lines so friends that's all for today for the slough defense there are lot more variations to play with but uh, you will you can familiarize yourself when you play your uh, when you play yourself um, this is indeed a very vast line and there are lots of variations available in this uh, in this uh, uh, defense in the system slough defense system so let me know how um, uh, how you like this video um, and let me know when you play the slough defense yourself do subscribe this channel for further videos till then take care bye bye